Summer will soon be here, when everyone who can afford it goes on holiday, either with family or friends. You may already have plans for where you're going for a few weeks, but I'm sure none of the following places are among them. Here are 14 special hotels, resorts, or inns that are pretty much where the word extreme applies. Das Park Hotel In the Bern Park area of Bottrop, Germany, real concrete pipe fragments have been scattered around the site, forming the Das Park Hotel. The unconventional hotel is the brainchild of Austrian artist Andreas Strauss. Guests who are not afraid of being enclosed can find a comfortable place to stay in the concrete pipes, which are 3 meters long and almost 2.5 meters wide. The top of the tube has a round window, and the back walls are decorated with paintings. Although there is only room for one bed and a small amount of luggage inside the tubes, at least there is electricity and small compartments for blankets and sleeping bags. Bathrooms and a breakfast room are a few meters away. The rooms are available from May to October, as they would not be in demand in winter anyway due to the lack of heating. And here's the kicker. There is no set price for the rooms. You can pay whatever you want per night. Baumhaus Hotel. Many of us can still remember our childhood dream of having a little hut in a treetop where we could hide from strict parents and plot with friends against the neighbors. Well, if you're looking for such an experience, all you have to do is visit the Baumhaus Hotel in Soling, Germany. These little tree houses rest on the treetops at a height of about four to seven meters. Most of the hotel's cottages are for two people, but there are also some for four and six people. A thin suspension bridge connects each building. Comfort is assured, as each house has its own toilet. Beds have a magnificent view of the forest, and in the morning guests are woken by the sound of birdsong and can enjoy breakfast on a large terrace, also at canopy level. Dog Bark Park Inn. Are you a dog lover? If so, could you imagine spending an evening in a dog? If the answer to that is also yes, then I recommend the Dog Bark Park in Idaho, USA, which is actually nothing more than a giant Trojan wooden dog. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find much information about it on the internet, but I can tell you that the beagle-shaped hotel spectacle opened its doors, or should we say, its mouth, in 2003, standing nine meters tall and containing two bedrooms plus a balcony. Mini Hotel Gurkenfass. Cucumber is as much a brand for Spreewald in eastern Germany as paprika for Hungary. A married couple from Lubinau, Birgit and Michael Hanschik, had a brainwave and turned a few large cucumber barrels into the mini hotel Gurkenfass. Each barrel is actually a room, each of which sleeps two people. The barrel rooms are not overflowing with furnishings, of course, but they can accommodate a 2 times 1.4 meter double bed, a small table, and a little space for the guests' luggage. The inside of the barrels is reminiscent of a sauna, except that it's not hot, perhaps only on hot summer days. The four windows provide plenty of light and ventilation, and when it rains, the sound of raindrops bouncing off the tops of the barrels is said to be a special treat. Hotel Village. The Hotel Village used to be Hamburg's most exclusive brothel, so it was still a hotel then, but of course not for the same purpose as it is now. Whereas in the old days, male guests would sneak into the building in secret, nowadays it's no longer a shame to visit and stay for a night or two, if you can pay for it, of course. The decor has been deliberately kept to the original style, with lots of plush velvet wallpaper, revolving mirrors, canopy beds, and of course mysteriously flickering lanterns. So, while it may look like a brothel, it's still an upmarket hotel. Bubble Tree Hotel. If you're not too shy, you'll want to spend a night or two at the Bubble Tree Hotel in France, which is not really a hotel at all, but eight bubble rooms of varying sizes in eight different locations in a beautiful natural setting. With a view from all around the bubbles, guests can actually feel like they are in nature without having to worry about mosquitoes or wild animals. Plus, the stars shining at night are a spectacular sight. The bubbles are also hypoallergenic and filter out harmful UV rays. The Alcatraz Prison Hotel. 
Who wouldn't want to spend a night or two in prison with impunity? The Alcatraz Prison Hotel in Kaiserslautern, Germany, is located in a building that is guaranteed escape-proof. Not that anyone would want to escape, although the tiny rooms are not exactly for the claustrophobic. The bars on the windows, by the way, are an integral part of the hotel, as the century-old building was indeed previously a prison and has only been a hotel since 2008. The doors of the cells still bear the original numbering, but what is a huge change from the original prison is the availability of Wi-Fi for guests, which perhaps only slightly detracts from the overall impression. The former prison dining room is now a cozy restaurant, where the quality of the food served is not even remotely reminiscent of the former prison food. Georgian House Hotel The Georgian House Hotel in London was built in 1851, but only opened as a hotel in 1987, and is a Harry Potter fan's dream, so much that the hotel advertises itself with the slogan, You can sleep like Harry Potter. The rooms here are indeed furnished as if you were in an ancient stone-walled castle with glass windows. Some rooms even have a few smaller so-called magic chambers, with secret entrances hidden behind bookshelves. These secret rooms are accessed by a mysterious corridor decorated with old paintings and mysteriously lit by candles. The hotel is five-star, of course, so the price of a night is not affordable for the average person. But the Harry Potter experience comes at a price. The Ice Hotel The Ice Hotel in Jukasjärvi, Sweden, looks like an XXL-sized igloo that is only open for a few months each year before being renewed again the following year thanks to ice carving artist Rob Harding. The ice palace is made with sculptures and a lot of imagination, and of course there is no heating. All guests are provided with reindeer coats and thick sleeping bags to keep them warm. The hotel also has a bar where guests can enjoy a cocktail called On the Rocks, in glasses made of ice. Almost unbelievably, the hotel also has a theater and a church, and the light coming through the ice walls bathes the rooms in every shade of blue. Jumbo Stay Hostel If you've traveled by plane and had a long journey, you may have napped or slept on it for a few hours but few people can say they've stayed in a real aircraft hotel. In Sweden, at the entrance to Stockholm's Arlanda Airport, stands a now defunct 1976 Boeing 747-212B passenger plane that instead of ending up in a junkyard, has been turned into a posh hotel thanks to Oscar Dios, who owns the hotel. The Jumbo Stay Hostel welcomed its first guests in January 2009 who can choose from a total of 33 rooms with modern interior decoration and a total of 76 beds. The most comfortable and of course the most expensive of these rooms is the one in the cockpit. There is also a bar on board where you can enjoy breakfast, coffee, sandwiches, sweets, soft drinks, and of course hot meals. The Krimi Hotel. One of the attractions in the German town of Hillesheim is a crime story fan's dream, the Krimi Hotel, which is famous for having a famous detective as a roommate, such as Ms. Marple, James Bond, Derek, Maigret, or Sherlock Holmes himself. Well, not exactly roommates, but life-size pictures of the detectives hanging in themed rooms on the wall above the bed. In the James Bond room, for example, there's even a gilded lady, a reference to the third James Bond film, Goldfinger. But of course, there are not only rooms named after detectives, but also two rooms named after famous crime thrillers. One is named after the Agatha Christie novel Murder on the Orient Express, and the other is also named after an Agatha Christie novel, Death on the Nile. As an added service, the library room offers 27,000 volumes of crime fiction, in addition to pleasant tea and readings. Gamarasu Cave Hotel. It has always been fashionable to live in caves in Turkey, and perhaps it was this idea that led to the opening of this 35-room cave hotel in Cappadocia, Turkey, in 1999. The caves and caverns originally belonged to a monastery, and the kitchen and dining room date back to those times. Although the early monks used to meditate by candlelight in the depths of their former cave dwellings, the furnishings are far from puritanical, although the walls have been deliberately left unadorned, simply to preserve the original atmosphere. 
Each cave room has a beautiful garden too, and guests can also visit the swimming pool at any time. It may seem incredible, but this is a five-star hotel despite its simplicity. Kasanas Hotel. If all you want is to occupy a huge rectum, then this is the hotel for you. The evocatively named Kasanas Hotel is located in Belgium, in Stekina. From the outside, it looks exactly like a human colon with an anus on the end, just to make it look even more authentic. This strange hotel was designed by an artist called Joop van Lieshout, but is owned by the Belgian Verbeke Foundation. As strange on the outside as it is convincing on the inside, if you stay here for a night, you'll get a delicious breakfast the next day, perhaps as a reward. Otherwise, the hostel has everything you need for comfort, a shower, a bed, a toilet, heating, and a couple of windows that provide light, so to speak, at the end of the tunnel. That's it for a non-exhaustive list of the most extreme hotels. So, which hotel or hostel would you choose to spend a weekend in? Be sure to write it down in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, as only then will you get notifications of my new videos. Say, check out my previous videos because I'm sure you'll find something else you'll be interested in. Thank you very much for your attention. I will be back soon with the next video.